Hey everyone, it's Yvette from Gleaming with Evie. I'm a licensed esthetician here in Los Angeles, California. I do facial slashes and brows, and that's what this channel is all about. So if you're into any of that, make sure to subscribe down below so you can see a lot more of my work and a lot more of what it's like to be an esthetician. Today's video is going to be another skincare ingredient video. Um, I do have a couple of ingredients that I've talked about. I just, I want to educate myself on more ingredients and I know that other estheticians out there probably need help with ingredients as well. So hopefully you find these videos helpful. Um, but anyway, today's video is actually going to be on glycolic acid. It is one of my personal favorite ingredients to use on myself and my clients. Um, you guys might not know, but a lot of my clients are actually more uh, mature clients, if you want to call it that. So they deal a lot more with like pigmentation, they want more of the anti-aging effects, and so I find that glycolic acid is really effective when it comes to dealing with those concerns. Um, so let's just, let's get into it glycolic acid so it is an alpha hydroxy acid an aha so if you guys didn't know there's ahas and there's bhas so aha is more of a um well they're both exfoliating acids there's different types of ahas and bhas so of course talking about ahas there's four types of ahas we have glycolic acid we have lactic acid i believe it's like yeah, it's uh, so glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, and citric acid are the four um, AHAs. Usually these um, acids are, of course, like I said, exfoliating, but they also help with hydrating your skin a little bit more. If you're looking for something that's pregnancy safe, lactic acid will be the one that you go for. AHAs usually come from plants, so in this case glycolic acid actually comes from sugarcane. Glycolic acid has the simplest molecular structure. It is the lightest in weight, which in effect penetrates deeper into the skin. So it, it is very effective. So again, like I said, it is an exfoliant, so what it is going to do is shed off all your dead skin cells, revealing brighter looking skin smoother softer you know all the things that we always want for our skin another thing that it does is it stimulates fibroblasts in the skin which will in turn produce more collagen and if you know about collagen it'll help with making your skin look more plump more glowy it's just gonna make you look younger now i personally like to pair my glycolic acid it really you could pair it with a lot of things but i really like to pair it with some retinol if you're really looking for some anti-aging effects um mixed with retinol you if you didn't know which we can talk about retinol in another video okay <laughs> um but retinol really helps with the production of collagen and just fixing your skin it's it's a it's another miracle um ingredient you do want to be careful what you mix it with but it, it does pair very well with glycolic acid uh one of my favorite products is actually from skin script they have this glycolic retinol pads um and it's pretty much just toner pads you just wipe your face with it do it at night and it just it really one it's a really good um to prepare your skin for peels but also it's just really good at targeting your pigmentation if you're someone who suffers with acne those pads will help you out so much but i personally recommend retinol and glycolic acid to my clients when they're dealing with their like i said pigmentation anyone who's dealing with like acne scarring um people someone who just wants just to look younger you know it just it really helps okay one thing i do want to say though is that glycolic acid just like a lot of other acids they're not going to be meant for um sensitive skin just because it is an acid like i said it is it does penetrate pretty deep into your skin so it could cause some sensitivities i know the glycolic cleanser from image or not from image from skin script uh there's actually a lot of people who say that that they do get get a little bit of a reaction to be fair their glycolic cleanser does have a higher percent of glycolic acid i've used it before i i like using image skincare um we'll talk about the products but i do use the glycolic cleanser from image skincare and that's the one i personally like but i have tried skin scripts 
and it is it is pretty strong you definitely feel some tingling sensation and sometimes it could cause the client to start purging and stuff or even you yourself if your skin is just not ready for something that potent you are going to purge now if you are on any type of topical retinoid usually these are prescribed to you by a doctor if you are on like retin a which is like tret tretinoin different or accutane you should not be using glycolic acid until you are done with that prescription but honestly like if your dermatologist or your doctor did recommend or prescribe you with any type of medication usually you want to finish that off give it about six months to a year and then you can start being more using more active ingredients on your skin or going to see an esthetician so let's go ahead and talk about my favorite products so like i said the the Ageless Cleanser from Image Skincare and the Glycolic Cleanser from SkinScript. Those are both really, really good cleansers. You do not want to use them as your first cleanse. Usually you want to use it as your second cleanse, preferably at night. Um, but yeah, what it's going to do is just exfoli gently exfoliate your face, you know? And I also like the Glycolic and Retinol pads from SkinScript as well. Like I said, it is kind of like a toner pad. You just pass them once your, your skin is clean. You just give it a little pass real quick, two to three times a week. You're going to see amazing results. Also like the Ageless Total Retinol Cream from Image Skincare. I, pretty much their Ageless line is just amazing, but um, it does have glycolic acid in it as well. I use it at night. I use it interchangeably. I don't use it every night, but usually things with like retinol, which we'll talk about in another video, but things with retinol, um, you want to start slow. If you're like me and you're scared, definitely go for a cream instead of a serum because serums are more concentrated, they're more active, and because it's a thinner viscosity, it'll go deeper into your skin. It is better to use a serum if you're looking for like quicker, better results, but starting off with this cream is perfect because you get to get your skin used to it first and then you work your way up to serums or whatever you want to start using. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little something. If you have any questions, leave them down in the box below. Well, in the comments below. Um, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs>